everyone, and welcome to this guided meditation for a peaceful and relaxing sleep where you will meet your spirit guide and let go of all your worries and stress. Firstly, I would like for you to release all expectations in regards to this meditation. The theme is to help you relax. But if you do not fall asleep, that is completely okay. If you do not see your spirit animal, that's fine too. Return to this meditation another time and you may see that you've made progress and are able to meet them next time. Make sure that you are prepared to fall asleep. Your alarms have been set and your notifications are turned off. All of your daily problems cannot touch you whilst you're having this meditation. Make sure that you are prepared to fall asleep by laying down on either a bed or a sofa with no restrictive clothing such as belts and hair ties are not pulling on your hair. I will give you a moment to make sure that you are comfortable. During this meditation, your mind may wonder, this is completely fine and normal. If you notice your mind going on to other subjects or wandering away from the meditation, make sure that you just bring your attention back to my voice. It's completely normal. start off, I'm going to ask you to take in a deep breath for a count of four. One, two, three, four. Next. Hold your breath for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And exhale for eight seconds. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is completely fine if you cannot hold to that count. Just so long as your exhale is longer than your inhale. Now, can you repeat that, please? Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then exhale for eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just keep repeating until your breath naturally starts to even out as you pay attention to your breathing. Pay attention to your inhales and exhales and just be aware of the rhythm of your breathing. Do not force anything. Just take calm and deep breaths.
Now, I want you to imagine that you're standing in a beautiful field. There's wildflowers blooming, birds are singing. You can see between the trees that animals are running peacefully. You can feel no harm here. You feel at peace here. You're basking in the warm sunlight as it streams onto your form, warming you and healing you. Your worries are slipping away as you bask in the invisible presence of peace and harmony. You stand for a while until you feel a physical, ever-loving presence behind you. You turn to see an animal. It may take a while for you to focus what animal it is. It may not look belong in the field, but it doesn't seem out of place. It's meant to be there. Its purpose is to be there. You slowly approach it, though you know that there's no reason for you to be afraid. You want to observe it, to learn from it. It presents to you a motion of kindness. Perhaps it bows. Perhaps it licks your hand. You sit next to the animal. And just do whatever feels natural for you. You could talk about your worries. And you don't need to reply. But you feel better knowing that you've expressed your worries and stresses. You may remain silent. But it knows that its presence helps you. Perhaps what animal it is helps you to learn what you need to do in your life. Perhaps if it's an animal such as a lion, you need to work on your confidence. Perhaps if it's a bird, you feel trapped and you need to become more free. Perhaps if it's a wolf, you may need to focus on family. You can learn so much from this encounter. Your spirit animal will always be with you. It represents you, the truest you. When you're finished talking to your spirit animal or basking in their presence, it is time for them to go. They want you to know that they'll always be there. You can return to this meditation at any time, to return to this field and to this meeting with your spirit animal, but you will always have the message that they have to present to you. You slowly retreat back into the forest around the field and you realise that it is night time. You see a small campsite a little further away. There's a warm campfire. The flames glowing brightly in the dark. You enter the tent to say that the top is completely see-through. And it's a nice clear sky with a full moon. And you can see the stars. Perhaps you know a few of the constellations. But the North Star is definitely the brightest. You lie down on the nice comfortable bed in the middle of the tent. You listen to the quietness around you as all creatures are asleep. You stare at the stars until your eyelids start to droop and you can't hold them 
any longer. Your breath is slow and you feel comforted knowing that your spirit animal will always be there. 